With inflation, quote unquote, under control and rate cuts on the horizon, why are the wealthiest still bracing for a crash? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So, yes, check it out right here. I am featuring a 2021 Wolverine. Only 50,000 Wolverine to value coins were minted. This one is 0.9999 49s, pure silver, uncirculated, and is supported by the Tuvalu government. The averse depicts the bust of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse depicts the classic Wolverine with his claws ready for battle. This coin is the ninth release in the Marvel Bullion series, struck by the Perth Mint, uh, featuring various Marvel characters. Um, I encourage any serious silver stacker to get their hands on these while they still can, as Marvel Comics continues to be one of the most popular licensed programs at Atmex. And currently, you can still get these as low as $46 with free shipping. Now, I want to remind everybody, I do not ever purchase directly from Atmex. I actually purchase from people that I know personally, locally, and of course, people that I've already been buying from for years from eBay. And most of the time, these are uh, coin shops, coin marts, and they'll be selling, um, of course, online as well. But never had any issues. I test all my silver to this day. I just, thank God, I've had no issues uh, because I'm continuing to buy from loyal people and continuing to sell to loyal people. So it's a beautiful cycle. And real quick, before I continue, I want to give a quick shout out. And this is to my always loyal subscriber, a comment from the other night. And I'm always shouting him out, but I love what he says because he has so much wisdom for all of us. Here we go. Veritas Files. You protect your assets best by living significantly outside of major cities, by making sure that you own and are reasonably proficient with firearms that will help you to protect what assets you have, by having paid off real estate that you live in and maintain, by having strong relationships with your family, extended family, and friends, by practicing hospitality and maintaining important relationships, by making sure that your wealth is regularly being put into tangible assets that don't that make your day-to-day -day living both possible and easier. Lastly, you protect your assets by holding significant portions of your overall wealth in ounces of gold and silver. Don't count or denominate your wealth in US dollars. Instead, count or denominate all of your wealth in ounces of gold and or ounces of silver. What do I mean? If you own a home and you know the approximate market value, figure out how many ounces of gold and silver your home is worth. Always know your total number of ounces rather than your total number of US dollars. Keep preparing for an uncertain future and certainly keep stacking. Awesome comment coming right there from Veritas Files as always. And man, it got me thinking how many ounces for my house and I was bargaining at least a thousand ounces of silver for my house. And that's right now in real time. So I need quite a bit of silver to really uh, to really make a difference. Um, inflation is finally dipping below 3%. And I know a lot of people are starting to feel optimistic. Um, thinking that interest rates, uh, interest rate cuts might be on the horizon as soon as September. But let me tell you. What we're heading into isn't the calm everyone is hoping for. In fact, it's quite the opposite. We're on the brink of a massive shift that will change the very fabric of America, and it's happening faster than most realize. Remember back in 2020 and 2021 when we were told that life wouldn't return to normal? That wasn't just about the pandemic. It was a sign of much bigger changes. We've already seen a lot of these shifts over the last four years. But what's coming in the next few years will be truly unthinkable. We're talking about massive changes in real estate, 
uh, grocery store prices, and the American economy as a whole. Look at what the wealthiest people in the world are doing. Warren Buffett is sitting on more cash and treasuries than ever before, and top executives are selling off tons of stock. They know something big is coming, and they're preparing for it. People are talking about inflation being under control, but when you dig deeper, you see the truth. Car insurance inflation is at 18.6%. Transportation is up 8.8%. And even everyday services like hospital care and home ownership are way up. The narrative that inflation is under control is misleading, and it's setting us up for a harsh reality check. We're not heading towards a soft landing where everything will just go back to the way it was. Instead, we're looking at a significant economic shift um, where corporations will step in and start acquiring everything as smaller players get wiped out. This is why silver is so crucial right now. Silver is a tangible asset, something real that you can hold on to as the economy shifts under our feet. When the dollar's value becomes uh, unstable and when inflation numbers don't tell the whole story, silver remains a stronghold. The wealthy are already preparing by accumulating assets and silver should be a key part of that strategy for anyone looking to safeguard their future. The next few years will be transformative and those who are prepared will not only survive, but thrive. And yes, check it out right here. 1909 Barber Quarter. This 90% silver classic is one of less than 9.3 million struck by the Philadelphia Mint. Um, Charles Barber's classic Liberty Head is on the obverse, and the reverse displays the denomination um, within a wreath. A Barber Quarter from 1909 in circulated condition is worth between $10 and $225. That's as of uh, right now, this month. However, on the open market, 1909 quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $77, $7,800. And that's why I truly believe, truly know that these are highly underrated pieces. You want to be getting your hands on these barber quarters. They have enormous opportunity for growth. And of course, if you want to be bartering, they're 90% silver. People are always going to want to be getting their hands on them. And they're beautiful pieces. They're historic. They're vintage. And um, it's like... A lot of the constitutional silver I've been noticing, um, that is really where the demand is at. It's not so much in the silver ounces, but in the Franklin half dollars, the walking liberties, the mercury dimes, the barber quarters, the barber dimes, the silver morgans. Um, of course, you have your nice traditional silver that's always going to be there, always going to be sought after, like the American Eagles, the Maple Leafs, uh, the Libertads, Britannias, Philharmonics. That's always going to be desirable. But the constitutional silver, most especially, will always be getting people from everywhere wanting to, to purchase it. But yes, folks, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Silver Dad Knows. God bless you. God bless your household. And as always, God bless America.